Fighting drama of the 2024 UEFA European Championship continues and a meeting here to determine which country will make it through to the final. Don't go anywhere, the match is live right here on EA TV. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And only four teams are left in this cup competition. We're at the semi-final stage. Stuart, what are you expecting? Well, semi-finals can be very nervous affairs, Derek, but this has the making of an absolute classic. Two excellent teams, some great players, and two thoughtful coaches. This should be a very interesting tactical battle, I think. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Kieran Trippier starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Phil Foden plays with Bukayo Saka on the flanks. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Harry Kane. And Kane comes into the move. Good looking attack this. The opposition starting 11. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Manuel Akanji plays with Ricardo Rodriguez in the fullback positions. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. Well, a really good idea, but missing by a large margin. Manuel Akanji. Remo Freuler. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. And making the run to the inside. Well, he gave it quite the blast, but nowhere close to the goal. And a timely intervention. Manuel Akanji. Jan Zoma. Fabian Scher. Just can't seem to get out of their own half, and that's down to the pressure. Foden. The decision is penalty. A big chance for them to take the lead here. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. Can he make it 1 0? And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Vargas. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Well, that's how to shield the ball and control it. Oh, it's off the post! Well, they're so unlucky not to be level now. It was a great effort. You just wonder if they're going to regret that. Phil Foden. 
They've chosen to go through Harry Kane. Options around him. Kane. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Manuel Akanji. And now Rodriguez. Intense pressure. Ebisha. Embolo. And will it be the leveler? And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. It's a short one. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Over the touchline for a throw in. Sylvan Widmer. And on the ball is Cher. It's with Widmer. Now they're behind, but they might be onto something here. Well, trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Declan Rice. Saka. Now Harry Kane. Just the challenge that was required. Braille Embolo. Alexander Arnold. Alexander Arnold. Is this the moment? Oh, fine stop. Well, opting for the short corner. And quick thinking defensively. Granite Jacker. I must say, this looks promising. This could be the equaliser. And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. Alexander Arnold. Giving the ball away. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Can they use it to their advantage? Doing well to keep possession. And below. Oh, surely! And a fine stop to turn the ball away. Walker. Now Harry Kane. Trippier. Jude Bellingham. Now with Alexander-Arnold. Foden. That's a good pass. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Over it comes. Marvellous anticipation. Bukayo Saka. Quite happy to sit deep, but that can have its risks. England moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Couldn't grab hold of it. 
and holding on to it at the second time of asking. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Decisive pass. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, as you can see, England have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes. And their attacking play has been excellent. Surely only... A... Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. They need to get tighter. But really sticking to the task defensively. Counter-attacking chance. Ebisha. Freyla in possession. Now can they make something happen? Chance to play it in. Jaka. Declan Rice. Walker now. He's lost it. This could square the game, but the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Remo Freuler. It's with Widmer. England recovering possession well. So a throw in here. Declan Rice Walker now Harry Kane Kane Ndoye and now it's with Embolo Sylvan Widmer More than decent passing sequences, but they need a leveller. Who can he pick out? Xhaka. Embolo. Really vital interception. Harry Kane. Declan Rice. And back to Bellingham. Trippier. And on to Bellingham. Rice with it. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his book in there.
released it nicely Phil Foden now Harry Kane passing it accurately Alexander Arnold and giving it away Silvan Widmer Granit Xhaka and on the ball is Cher Vargas Xhaka with it promising attack this flag raised for offside there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches Gordon really sitting deep now that could be problematic well that takes the wind out of their sails great defending Mbolo and just blotting out the danger Trippier Gordon Harry Kane England looking dangerous and Bellingham on to Kane. What an important piece of defending. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. Embolo. Dan and Doye. It's with Widmer. Showing patience. Looking for the equaliser. Vargas the crossbar got in the way and stopping the danger electing to shoot a simple for the keeper well it was certainly a chance to get back into the game and you have to say they're a bit unfortunate but they do need to finish off one of these chances Harry Kane Saka just the challenge that was required and so 30 minutes left for play in this one oh good vision really determined play to hang on to it it was a menacing attack but tidied up Stones Gordon and a fine tackle can they create something from here well that's common sense refereeing to play advantage Braille Embolo he read the situation defensively and did his job Foden just wasn't going to part with the ball no let up here well perhaps an opportunity here for England to extend the lead substitution then let's see how it affects the match taken short someone to play it to and it goes it just gets better and better for them another goal and they can truly dream of the final now
Well, let's have another look at this, because he does really well to pick the right pass here. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? moving again, 2-0 is how it stands Vargas Braille Embolo might be able to set up the chance well, they know they need to stop him could play it in Zakaria Determined defending. Trippier. Harry Kane. In possession, Bowen. Kane. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely imperfect. And then it's a top-class strike from Kane. His technique is absolutely spot on. Just look at the power he generates here. On with the action. It's been all England so far. You sense there could be extra punishment in store. Manuel Akanji. Now Harry Kane. Possession one. Fabian Scher. Well, he's certainly not alone. Shakiri. It's a neat move. A good and fair challenge. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Ollie Watkins. In possession, Bowen. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Rodriguez. And on the ball is Cher. Oh, pressing really high. Fabian Cher. Jordan Shakiri has it. Zakaria. And now Shakiri. Oh, he looks threatening. Able to get his body in the way. Now, can they hit them on the counter? Well, strong play here. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. Zakaria. And using his strength to shield the ball. Vargas. Just moving back into that deeper position. Rodriguez. Very quick thinking there. Ten minutes to go then. Kane. England unable to hang on to the ball. Well, they've given him too much space. Rodriguez. And he was in the right place to intercept. Walker. Kane. And the attempt just wide. So unfortunate. So two substitutes to come on in one go.
Rida. It's with Widmer. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Harry Kane. In position here to protect the ball. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Okafor. And now it's with Embolo. Shakiri. This could be troublesome. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Trying to deliver it accurately and dealing with the danger. Harry Kane. Anthony Gordon. A really good pass. We are going to have two additional minutes. Jared Bowen. Kane. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Trippier. Sends it back. What a save. Rida. Sylvain Widmer. And there it is, it's official now. England will take part in the final here at the European Championship. Well, what a display that was. Their attacking play was breathtaking at times and they completely dominated in midfield, which then allowed the fullbacks to get forward to great effect. They'll surely be favourites going into the final. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?